In my last video, we took tracks off an old reel of two inch tape. We applied in the box processing and hardware, mixing it on my console. In this video, we're going to take that same session, the same tracks, and we are going to stem it through my vintage API summing mixer setup. And then we're going to compare the two mixes. So the first thing we're going to do is patch in my API summing mixer because I have the digital outputs of my Pro Tools normalize to the inputs of my console for mixing. So when I want to mix on my API summing mixer, I have to patch that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of the digital outputs and go straight into the API summing mixer, 16 channels. This is my vintage API summing mixer setup. It is loaded with old 325 cards. It's the same cards that are in all the old 70s API consoles, the 3288, the 2488, and the 1604. I designed this to have 16 inputs with a mix bus insert. So I could have a stereo mix bus compressor on here and it's pre-fader. So this stereo master fader does not affect the compression and I could take that in and out. It has a mono check. Additionally, I have four more API 325 cards that I could bust through, essentially making this a 16 input, four bus little API setup. I have a few more of these. I'm not using them in this setup right now. And I am monitoring through my DMS-5 inward connection discrete monitoring system. This has SBA 690 op amps in it, and it gives a super clean, transparent representation of what I'm mixing on my API setup. The first thing we're going to do is assign outputs. I already have my summing mixer patched in. My summing mixer is 16 channels. The first four channels are mono, and then every pair of channels after that is stereo left and right. On our four mono tracks, we have kick, mono, snare mono, bass mono, vocals mono. Then everything else is spread out stereo left and right. Well, we could go 80%, 70%, 60%, any variable we want on panning in the box here. The mix bus compressor and EQ that was on my console is now on the insert of my summing mixer. So that is the same. Now that we have these tracks assigned, we're going to start going through and massaging the mix into place. I was born in Sarasota. I I'm going to get to a part where the horns are and I'm going to add some compression. Let's do that really fast. I'm going to add the DBX 160. Okay, and I just want it to kiss and do a couple dB of gain reduction. I'm going to copy that over because this is a stereo recording. And let's hear both of them together. That sounds a little bit darker than what I remember with the outboard gear. So I'm going to add some EQ to this. All right, I'm going to copy that over to the other channel because this is a stereo recording. All right, we're going to move on to the horns and I'm going to pull up an 1176 plug-in and let me adjust this really fast. Man, that plug-in sucks compared to the hardware piece, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to pull up an EQ, I'm going to adjust it, and then I'll copy over because this is a stereo recording. Let's add some high end here. All right, let's hear it in stereo. All right, let's hear it in the mix. All right, let's treat these organs. I am going to go with an 1176 again. Now an EQ. All right, 
I'm going to copy those over, make it stereo. I'm going to turn those organs down a little bit. I'm essentially mixing in the box and just summing it through my summing mixer. With that being said, I do have compression and EQ on the mix bus. Let's move on to these guitars. I'm going to quickly adjust these 558s on guitars. Let's hear that. Let's hear them. I don't like that 3K on there. I'm going to go to 1.5. Here we go. All right, let's hear these last couple of instruments. Don't ask me why the Bomb Factory 1176 that comes free with Pro Tools sounds better than the CLA 76 from Waves. Let's just hear all this together in the mix. Let's work on these vocals. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. I've been playing rock and roll for more than 30 years. The people come to give me jam because I play. Okay, I am going to pull up the plugin DBX160, which I do think is a good plugin. I have the real one down there. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. I've been playing rock and roll. And this is what I like about the DBX160 plugin. This right here, they give you this parallel wet dry. So I could dial the plugin in heavy and then back up the parallel and find a good balance. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. All right, let me put uh, EQ on his vocal. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. I've been playing rock and roll for more than 30 years. The people come to give me jam because I play dance music. And I'm still going strong. I watch the people moving. You know what turns me on. Let's hear that in the mix. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. So I am going to set up an auxiliary bus. So here's what we're going to do. We already have one set up with a little bit of verb on it, but we're going to take it a bit further. We're going to go to bus. We're going to bus out to five and six. All right now I'm going to create an auxiliary track in stereo. Here it is in the green. I'm going to make it yellow because that's my thing. And I'm going to output it to the same two outputs that the main reverb is going through, uh, 15 and 16. I'm going to add a micro pitch on this. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. I've been playing rock and roll for more than 30 years. All right, now I'm going to add a little bit of decapitator. I'm raising the low cut, adding a little tone, Pulling back a little bit of the high cut, and then I'll take the mix wet and dry about down to 80. Let's hear this. I was born in Sarasota. Okay, let's hear it without this auxiliary bus I just made for the vocals. I was born in Sarasota. Now let's add it back. Here we go. I was born in Sarasota. Got a little bit more excitement on the vocals. Let's hear it in the mix. I was born in Sarasota. And it's that simple, it just snapped right into the groove. Now I just want to show you what the crush feature does on the Allen Smart C2. So let's listen to this. I will engage it as the music's playing. I played before the Beatles. Chicago was just a town. 
Smokey prayed for miracles. The boss was not around. That's music. And I'm still going strong. It's sort of like adding a decapitator to the Allen Smart C2. And I really like the way it sounds, but it's too much. I really wish there was a wet dry parallel option with that crush feature. That would make the Allen Smart C2 so much more powerful. Let's compare these mixes. The summing mixer next to the console mix. I was born in Sarasota. I never went to France as I am. I've been playing rock and roll for more than 30 years. The people come to give me jam cause I play dance music. Dance, dance to the music. And I'm still going strong. I watch the people move. Dance, dance to the music. The movie turns me on. And when the band starts to groove. I play dance music dance, dance to the music. And I'm still going strong I watch the people 